So it's, talk about this. It's called Jump and Twist. It's uh, in Freiburg, uh, German of the Microtech building at, at the university. And uh, it's a three-part piece. It takes place in three stages, jump and twist. The, the outside part is, is a kind it looks like a structure that's, that's ready to move. It's a little bit like, like a bus home. It, 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 it has a kind of an animated force about it. And then the second stage, it, it, almost like an insect, it, it sort of jumps up and penetrates the facade of the building. And as it does so, it twists. And as it twists, it incorporates more reflective material and becomes a little bit like the interior of the building. And the third stage is hanging and revolving slowly. At that point, it's totally metamorphosized, completely radiating the inside of the building, is oscillating, very much like, I think, the minds of the individuals in that building who are working on this highly technical, micro computerized uh, uh, information. So as a public commission, it's, it's probably one, one of the more successful because it does uh, really consider what's going on in the building and not just superficially. Mm -hmm. And this one it has moved since it's been here, but this was downtown Manhattan. It's moved to Reno. It's called engagement. These are engagement rings. It's in Reno because uh, I understand uh, when people get divorced, they throw their rings into the river. This work uh, in New York um, uh, uh, is, uh, is somewhat uh, about the difficulties of marriage in that these rings are kind of falling, apart, uh, falling away from one, uh, one another. Uh, the stones are, are replaced with, with houses, or actually glass dwellings, uh, which, uh, which operate above. It has some conventional things about, uh, about it that, that, that I may not support completely. It does try, and I think partially succeeds, in, in projecting this degree of difficulty in, in, in uh, relationships. This one, I think, really portrays your <coughs> very sensitive side, and, uh, and it's a beautiful monument to a very horrific situation. So share this, the whole story behind this piece. This was a memorial park for the murdered and tortured and kidnapped victims of the South American junta during the uh, 70s. This is a giant memorial park in front of the university Buenos Aires, dedicated to the uh, what they call the disappeared. So, monument to escape is our jail cells stacked up in such a way that they're rendered dysfunctional. And this was what I built for them as a memorial to the uh, situation there. Which brings us to the most recent work. Tell everybody what what your whole idea was all about. Really, the 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 gist of it and how, how you wanted people to feel when they were around it. Well, I, the, I, I went down to the site uh, and I sat down and, and uh, of course I didn't see any buses, but I waited there and uh, I began to recall the way I felt on the occasions that I would take a bus in New York and elsewhere. And, and for some reason, uh, it wasn't the happiest experience uh, I've ever had. Uh, I, I felt the, uh, in this kind of environment here, a, a lot of the people taking the bus, uh, maybe they didn't have cars, what have you. Uh, it seemed that, that, uh, that it was leading me into wanting to make this, this uh, site, this situation, this occasion for them to wait as uh, something exalted. Um, also, I remember traveling in trains and in buses, looking out the window and, and, and uh, imagining that it was like a film, like the windows were frames on the film and, and you were looking out and it was moving. And so uh, I knew that, that, that I would probably work with the idea of cinema. Um, the metamorphosizing from a bus to a home, uh, 
is something that occurred to me at that time. And uh, I imagined a, a bus arcing into the ground and moving down underneath the earth and going upward into an arc and going down again into the ground and then up and slowly through this procedure it would m change from one image to another. From the air, the, the platform itself looks like a bus, which I think is... Well, I had the, the license in this rare occasion to, to suggest things for the entire bus stop. And, and, and it occurred to me uh, quickly that, that, that one could do this. Uh, they could treat the, the, the design of the actual station area, the middle station, uh, as an image. And they could have windows and wheels and things like this could, could be integrated along with the major sculpture, which is really where my focus was. But so, it, it yeah. too is a, a morphing bus. From a yeah, home. yeah. It takes that impetus from from uh, from the idea, uh, and I refer to it as kind of frozen animation. Mm -hmm. It it is a journey. It's a journey you take visually before you get on the bus, uh, and and for some people, it's where they're going, and uh, the bus station is is in some way structurally. Uh, what they're going to do when they get on the bus. Uh, I think it, 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 in many ways it's successful. I, I, it, it's, uh, it is a, a trafficking of uh, a, a work done by an artist who uh, began in fine art. And, and in fi fine art, as I say, you're alone, you're in the studio, there's nobody uh, uh, d dictating parameters. Uh, and from this to an art that's more social, uh, is a long way, mm -hmm. but but it, I try to explain, but not very well. That in the course of this uh, journey from this sort of uh, uh, extremely um, uh, unadulterated operation as an artist to this more social, quasi-architectural position, uh, things have changed. Art has changed. Uh, it, it's it's the new millennium. Uh, uh, things about ar architecture uh, are different than the way we, I, initially thought. And, and this conversation is morphing uh, uh, presently into something that I think is generative and is uh, just making a new kind of vocabulary and a platform right at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think some of the more interesting occurrences in art, in all the arts, will be in this sort of uh, uh, operation between architecture and, and fine art mm -hmm. and design. Oh. This was made by a local artist by the name of Kathy Neprud. She's a wonderful potter, and it's just oh. a gesture of thanks from all of us here at the city and all of us at Focus on the Masters. So yes. I want to thank you so much, and thank you for being here.